Hi everyone, if you watched my previous video when we were working on this particular image and we were learned how to work with bright colors and how to edit images with the bright colors, if not, I really suggest you to watch that tutorial before, before you're going to watch this one. Um, we will work on few things here first. We're going to adjust the background to make sure it works perfect, it looks perfect, and we will uh, work on the potato sack, make sure it's uh, more round, not like long, long egg, which is not that pretty. How you can fix the background? It's two ways. First, you can just get the, get the tool, patch tool, turn the area you want to work with, hit delete, make sure here you see content aware okay and photoshop will fix everything if not you can do it again make sure it all nice perfect and second way you just go into liquify and liquify it is what i'm gonna do with this corner because it's such a small corner and i like to bring this a little bit up make sure it's a little bit light next we will work on the potato sack where i want to make it more round which is more pretty make sure you don't do this this doesn't look great <laughs> looks funny let's say the better shape when you can go around it's like more volume around the shoulders right in here and around the waist of the baby it looks so much better and go like this make sure all the lines are even and you see this line on the fabric i want to make sure it's mimic the line in the bottom which is looks so much better and i'm gonna go here and here make sure it's more round and pretty i will do this it's so already looks so much better as you see it's really hard to wrap the baby in perfect way if the baby is not asleep and this baby wasn't really sleepy but for me always really important to work on my background make sure it's smooth and, s and perfect while i'm shooting because this uh, if you have any creases on the background it's really really hard to get rid of work on that don't really bother with the potato sack and how you wrap it because um honestly you can fix it really quick in Photoshop. Perfect. And I'll just go back here. Look at this. It already looks perfect. If you go my before and after, already good. And right now, the fun part, we're going to work on the face. If you, as you see, you have little here, little dots, it's like a little flakes of the skin. Some photographers like to leave it alone. If you don't, I suggest that you make your own action. It's really easy. Just um, copy the layer, make the copy of the layer, go into the filters, go to noise, dust and scratches, and uh, put the uh, radius and threshold. It's, it all it's, um, depends on your image. I'll get this. It's too much. I just look when it's a uh, the dot the flakes start to disappear that's my numbers don't look in the eyes anyway just on them just on the flakes make sure they are gone and it's um, depends on uh, what settings you're shooting with in your camera I usually shoot wide open 1.4 1.6 good put the mask invert the mask control I and get to the brush or make sure if your mask is red or black the brush is supposed to be white 100 percent and i go over all this little white flakes to get rid of them perfect like it and i don't like this little piece of <laughs> yarn in here right now we're gonna work on the baby skin it's clearly has a, a lots of redness first what you can do into W layer also you can uh, work from this panel if you like I just don't really get used to it bring the hue saturation go into the red channel 
bring the first slider hue all the way to the left and look at this bottom sliders bring them to the middle like this and we'll, Photoshop will show you all the red spots and you, all you need to adjust the top color I'm gonna put two okay as you see we got rid of this um, the red kind of uh, faded away a bit it's still there we still will work on it but it's much much better and right now the fun part we're gonna learn how to edit the skin here's a little flake skin with the numbers okay you need to bring this little window how to find this window we go in a window info here we go get the uh, drop tool this one I drop tool and put on the baby skin and look at this look at those numbers it's H S B look at the H and this number says 18 21 20 19 basically baby skin need to be somewhere between 20 and 25 this is what we need to work with how we're gonna fix it I'm gonna double the layer bring the panel color balance and I go to shadow and this number are just somewhere between minus 10 and minus 5 it always depends on the image here I think it's gonna be 5 will be totally enough I'm gonna go to the midtones minus 5 and I go to highlights and I put here minus 1 good and check right now all our numbers perfect oh, 24 22 21 the skin color just perfect but I think it's got way too saturated and I'm gonna bring my saturation down just a little bit too much just too perfect but also I found out uh, the skin got kind of a little bit of yellow overcast just in a few in a few places how to work with yellow overcast if you if you want to fix it we're gonna go on the channels I'll put my layers together go to channels and I'll give you a trick first you go to color balance look here if you see the green little green overcast usually it's in the highlights this is a green we need to add magenta if you see blue overcast we need to add yellow and so on we're gonna work with yellow we're gonna add magenta press ok we'll go to channels press green channel later click this little icon RGB make sure it's checked press O that's the tool we're gonna work with and remember if you add it in the colors which are on the left side out of a slider in color balance you use burn tool if you add it in colors which is on the other side of a slider on the right side you're gonna use dodge tool that's easy you will remember if you're gonna use it in a regular basis okay we're gonna hit green RGB oh make sure your exposure set to one I'll bring this like this it's soft edges and I'm gonna just go over the highlights look at this before and after I got rid of this yellow overcast perfect and look at our before and look at our after the skin color just perfect I see a little bit like orange in the lips which is I prefer to be on the red side you can um, copy your layer go into hue saturation go to red and you just make them a little bit more red okay put under the mask I hit 100% because I can adjust it later I really want to see lips more red my before and after looks beautiful that's it this is my 
let's call like this this might be four and after and as you see we use just the tools available in photoshop i didn't use any plugins any actions all you need to know just a few tools in photoshop in the next video i will show you how to edit the pictures on the white background and how to achieve this beautiful white fabric i hope you enjoy this video leave your comments down below also feel free to ask any questions i will answer and see you in next video thank you for watching